The soft palate is the posterior muscular extension of the hard palate, which together makes up the palate of the oral cavity and the floor of the nasal cavity. This video will discuss the soft palate including its borders, its function, its general anatomy, and its musculature. The soft palate is a purely muscular structure. It is bordered superiorly by the respiratory mucosa of the nasal cavity and inferiorly by the mucosa of the oral cavity. Posteriorly, it has no borders and hangs at an inferior angle towards the larynx, where it dangles the uvula in its midline. Posterolaterally, however, it forms part of the superior portion of the palatoglossal and palatopharyngeal folds. Anteriorly, it is connected to the bony hard palate via an aponeurotic plate at the level of the vibrating line. The soft palate is multifunctional and aids speech and the pronunciation of velar consonants along with the dorsum of the tongue. When swallowing, it rises to close the nasal passages and prevents any food or liquid from entering into the nasal cavity. It does the same thing for the larynx when sneezing. The uvula helps produce the gag reflex when touched. The hard palate is the anterior bony subsection of the palate that comprises approximately two-thirds of the mouth. The anterior portion is bordered anteriorly and laterally by the maxillary teeth. Superiorly, it is covered by the respiratory epithelium of the nasal cavity and inferiorly by the masticatory epithelium of the oral cavity. Posteriorly, the hard palate is connected to the soft palate, which is a purely muscular structure. The function of the hard palate is both feeding and speech. Before modern surgeries were developed, infants with defective palates couldn't suckle and would often die. The hard palate creates a vacuum which forces the liquid into the mouth so that it can be ingested in both adults and infants. It is also essential, along with the tongue, to create certain phonetic sounds. The hard palate separates the oral and nasal cavities, bordering the oral cavity superiorly and forming the roof of the mouth and the nasal cavity inferiorly, which define its floor. The term alveolar ridge refers to the crescent-shaped osseous part of the upper and lower jaw that supports the teeth and contains the tooth sockets. Therefore, the alveolar ridge is the tooth-supporting osseous part of the jaw. 